Hey guys, this is the Non-Portable Ant and this is Fear the Walking Dead Season 3 Episode 12, Brothers Keeper. Keeper. It sounded weird when I said it. Um, I know that this reaction is quite late, it's just that I completely forgot that um, episodes come out on, well technically Sunday night, but it comes out on Monday for me, and I completely forgot about it. And also I have to go, I also go to college again now, so reaction videos are going to become very scarce. And um, um, I know that I'm recording this on Saturday right now, and the reaction will, it will, it will probably come out tomorrow, Sunday. So, yep. Now, what happened in the previous episode? Um, I read. Oh yes. Um, I know that Madison, Walker, and Strand went to the dam and found Daniel there, and they told Daniel about Ophelia and how she's kind of become a soldier, and. Um, Daniel isn't pleased, Strand created an explosion, so and that sort of persuaded Lola to give them water. So hmm, all it all ended well except for the dam which now have to make new gates. So hmm. Anyway, let's get on with the episode and see what happens. <clears throat> Is he writing a diary? He needs to clean his hands. This is making me hungry. I don't know how. <laughs> Probably because I just have been hungry all day. That guy again. Oh, there he is. <laughs> can see him for a second. He's all the way in the background. God, it's like, where's Wally? I couldn't see anything. <sighs> mm, drain out the juices first. Something's behind the wall. It's kind of weird for him. For, like, is this what people do? They just walk into a room and, like, he literally just went up to that space of wall and started knocking on it. Fucking hell! Why the hell did they keep that there? Like, why wouldn't they take it? Like, unless, of course, no one knew it was there, which I find hard to believe. It is just kind of suck though, he has no one to talk to, but honestly I would love it. <laughs> and overnight he disappeared. Don't waste your only bullet! And he wasted his only bullet. Walkers? So is the entire place, you know, in harmony? Because that would be nice. It's just dead land. Bunker full of supplies. We're lucky to have that. Where's Madison and the it's others with water? Everyone does. Got no one to lead. That's why you should. Nick? Lead? Uh fifty fifty on that. Yep. Corrupting you. You look like shit. She's already been high. Sleep you share the same self destruction. Maybe I'm as sick as he is. Honestly, everyone's here is sick, really. To some extent. Oh no, is someone going to break into his room again? <sighs> I 
Misery, the second you hear creaking, you know someone's moving about. <laughs> Turn the light on. At least then you can see, or at least then drive whoever it is out there to run. You stop looking for whoever is breaking into your house for a cigarette. Jesus. How did he get back? Oh, don't matter. He knew exactly where he was. It's gonna be obliterated. Of course it is. Open the door for Efficient. Didn't do it out of obligation. So why did you do it? Because she likes you, maybe. Who is it you're fighting for? I put it down because that's what you do when something's lame or sick. Huh? He's not gonna stop. He's, he's not gonna get better. I warned him. Is he, is he going to kill him? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? I am sorry. Say sorry to me? Say it to him. <sighs> this is just unneeded. You didn't know. Jake. Jake, no! Jesus. How far do you think? Um. More than half a mile away. Fair enough. Chop his arm off. Stretch out his arm. Stretch it out. The sheriff would do it! Stretch out his goddamn arm! Why can't Nick do it? Myself. He wasn't supposed to die. Is he dead? Not like that. Why don't you guys use the guns and throw them all in the other direction? You need to put him down now. They're all getting squished. Run! Run! Damn it, he hasn't, he's run out of bullets. And he just had to kill someone. She just had to kill someone, sorry. She. They're just gonna fight their way over to the pantry. Um. Okay, this is a very dramatic episode. <laughs> like, dramatic moment. Did he, is he headbutting walkers? <laughs> Don't stab yourself with the hand again.
<sighs> Just when, like, everything seemed to be going according to plan, Troy had to go and fuck it up. Troy came back to the ranch, even though he was told not to. He said that he, well, he warned Nick saying, oh, things are gonna be... Things, something, something's happening, something's coming. And, well, then, well, Nick had to try and find out what that meant, so he took, so he and Jake went to see what Troy meant, and we find out that Troy is leading, like, millions of walkers all the way over to the ranch by using that gun that he find behind, found behind that inspirational quote. Jake found out that Nick killed Jeremiah, and, well, Troy, well, yeah, Jake didn't really care, and he was about to shoot Troy, and then, well, Nick knocked him out. Um, well, not knocked him out, he just sort of pushed him away, and then he got bit on the arm, and, well, we thought that he could, you know, have his arm chopped off, which has worked before, and then also hasn't worked before, and, well, he died, and got turned into a walker, and Troy killed, like, put him down. Um, Alicia told Ophelia about what, like, Nick told her over the radio that there's, like, walkers coming all over, coming to them, and, well, that they had to get everyone in the camp ready for battle, um, and they put a load of RVs sort of in the camp to try and, you know, block them from getting to them. All the walkers started going underneath the bloody thing, and then one of them exploded when because he was it was being pushed too much into the RVs, so explosions. And then they everyone had to sort of fight their way to the pantry, and now absolutely everyone is locked in there. So yeah, that's the entire episode. Um, that was a very I I enjoyed that episode. I really did. So um, bye.